UDA candidates, William Ruto's relatives, have already arrived and seated. At the moment, various groups of choirs are entertaining guests as they wait for the big announcements from IEBC Chair Wafula Echebokate. Security is tighter than tight. For Hot 96 News, I'm Tabitha Arotish. Thank you so much, Tabitha. She'll be keeping an eye on that story and get back details to us. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IABC, is set to announce the final presidential results any time from now. The commission has completed verifying all the Form 34A and 34B six days after Kenyans went to the ballot. Preparations are in top gear. The bombers of Kenya ahead of the big announcement. We need space. We need space for the presidential candidates' families and friends. So I'm humbly requesting that we leave the first three rows on this side where it's written presidential candidates and their families and friends. And also that row, we leave the first three rows for the presidential candidates and their families. We've created more space. If you have an observer badge, you can take this side. It's labeled clearly observers. And how still and matters election are reactions across the country what are Kenyans expecting? Hapa ni furaha tutele, hatuna maneno mingi ya kusema. Na tumejitarisha umeor sikia jileno sine ndio tumetembea sana huku 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 na pale ikitrend. Sasa leo ndio ile siku mutaona hiyo sine ndio tenyewe ambayo umetayarisha na wazei. Na jepukati kusitie shaka. Tangaza ile kitu imepatikana alafu inji ianze kuendelea. Hapa kamsa betu unaona sahi television ambayo town mzima itaona inakuwa erecta na inaendelea ndi imeanza kwa sasa nafikiri kwa muda wa dakika salasini hivi hiyo kitu itakuwa imekuwa tayari na watu watakuwa naangalia life kutoka mji wa kapsabet tupate kufanya kazi, tufungue maduka tumudi kwa kazi, iliko tukaa hivi standard hata kuna kazi inafanyika kila muda mwafunga kazi, wengine wajengia kazi tatu ngevana tuwe utangazi kitu tuwashaka na ima nenu, tatu kwa na wasuasi watu wa warudi kazi, kiti na umulu kwa kazi yote wa kawaida, hata sisi wa hote ni kama maduku, mwenye na kaya na yuleo si mwenye ako na yuleo kama mwenye ako mambasa ni ule tu mwenye ni kona yu kama jirani obvious matoke kitoka yu nyiti tatoka ndo tutafanya na yu kazi na hao watu watu wako pamoja, si pia tukotipo mwenye bura tupate matokeo now, still in the same stories, uh, the, the, the Inter-Religious Council of Kenya has urged Kenyans to continue exercising calm and patience ahead of the declaration of the presidential results. The team has pleaded with the, opposition, the opposing factions to embrace each other. Addressing the prayers at the city hall, the clergy has urged Kenyans to give the electoral bully time to deliver their mandate. Let no party coalition or supporter preempt that mandate. Let us all wait in IBC, which is operating path which is operating perfectly within the legal window period granted by law patience is not only a virtue it's a mark of civility ibc to suffer no pressure from public but to do what is humanly possible with a great understanding of human fitness of impatience on the same matter, NCIC has called upon leaders to help build unity and peace across the political divide even after the announcement. NCIC Chairman Samuel Kobe has commended leaders who have conceded defeat and those who are promising to go to court. Kobe has urged Kenyans to accept the results and any other issues should be held rather in court. We also like to call on the winner to be magnanimous and reach across the divide to make peace and forge a way forward. We ask for the run-up to be dignified and be treated with the decorum. This also applies to the citizenry. Let us all be magnanimous and appreciate the pain we all feel when we lose. Let us not insult each other or gloat unnecessarily over the others. 
And now to other matters here, CJ Martha Kaume has appointed the judges and magistrates who will oversee the swearing in of new governors and their deputies. In an internal memo, Kaume says that the appointment is in accordance with the assumption of Office of Governors Act in 2019. Justice Roslyn Aburili and Caroline Kabucho will swear in Nairobi Governor elect and his deputy. In Kisumu County, Justice William Musioka and Honorable Teresa Odero will take the mantle. Now, let me take you to Bomas of Kenya, where we have uh, uh, live uh, pictures uh, right there on our television. That is a Citizen TV, but also we shall be streaming it live on Citizen Digital and on Hard 96. Let me just take you there for a minute and see what is going on. Yes, that is what is ongoing at the Bombers of Kenya in preparation of the final results of the presidency that IBC is set to announce. And remember, it is only I, 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 EBC that can uh, announce the winner of this election. No one else can do that. The final results, according to IBC, are set to be announced at 3 p.m. That is just about two hours from now. But what is happening right now is entertainment. All leaders are there. And I'll be checking in and seeing uh, how, which, elite, or which leaders have already arrived. Uh, IBC chair is expected to announce the result uh, at exactly 3 p.m. at the Bombers of Kenya. But let me just see uh, the leaders who have already arrived according to our very own reporter Jathan Kamau. He tells me that leaders from across the political divide have already arrived at the Bombers of Kenya, including Anwai Guru, who is the governor-elect in uh, uh, Kirinyaga County. We have uh, Aden Nduale uh, from Garissa, who is a, m a member of parliament-elect. We have Alice Wahome, we have Moses Kuria, Joseph Nano Kipchumba, Murkomen, P.S. Belio Kipsang, Charity Ngilu, Ledama Olekina, Naomi Shaban, Deritu Muridi, among others. Presidential candidates and chief agents have oh, uh, uh, currently in a lounge enjoying a cup of tea as they wait. But presidential candidates, that is uh, uh, of the Gano party, that is uh, uh, Mwaure, um, has already arrived uh, together with uh, the Roots Party leader, George Wajakoya. They are already at the bombers of Kenya. We are waiting to see Raila Odinga at the Bombers of Kenya. We're also waiting to see uh, William Samoy Ruto, the deputy president, right now at the Bombers of Kenya. Remember, there are preparations across, uh, preparations in different places where these leaders are going to give their last speech after. So, uh, Raila Odinga is expected to give an address to the nation at the KICC after the declaration of the presidential result by the IBC chairman of Fulache Bukati. And then uh, the deputy president, William Samoy Ruto, is expected to give a uh, press uh, to the nation at the uh, Catholic University of East Africa Quare after the declaration by Wafula Chebukati. So we shall give you these updates as they come in. You have yourself a good afternoon as you wait to know who is going to be our president. But remember, if my president, if my candidate wins, then uh, we celebrate together. If your candidate wins, we celebrate together because at the end of the day, they are ours. Whoever wins is ours, you know, and there's no losing and winning winning in this game. So whoever takes the mantle of uh, taking the country forward, we celebrate all together and move on because he will be a president of Kenyans and not a president of uh, supporters of uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa or Azimio or Roots Party or, or maybe the Agano. So it is going to be a president for Kenyans. We better embrace them and move all together. My name is Haman Kamariki. Enjoy the better part of your afternoon. The Hot 96 News. 